What's up? It's Christian and Corey from Super Kami Guru 9000, and here is our Naruto Chapter 554 review. Okay, so this chapter opened up with a bang, a really big bang, and uh, we get to see here that Naruto has become very proficient with his use of Rasengan's, but he's become even more so with his use of the Rasen Shuriken technique. And it's really, really great. When the chapter opens, there's this cool panel of him using Rasen Shuriken. And before, he would have to use two clones in order to make this possible. Same thing with Rasengan. But now all he has to do is use two Kyubi arms that come out of his back to actually stabilize it. And that just makes things even better because he can move a lot faster now. So he basically uses those arms as a way of using this technique as well because when he starts attacking the Raikage, you can see that he's using one of the Kyubi arms to grab the Rasen Shuriken and like stretch it out towards him to try and hit him with it. And he misses the first time against the Raikage. He's just so fast, he just gets right out of the way. But then he tries to flick it towards him when it's right behind him with the QB arm. And he just, like, flicks it towards him. But Raikage, again, just manages to jump right over it. And you can see it's a pretty close call, because you can see his belt actually gets cut. This is anime for it was a really, really close call. Um, but that this is when the best part comes though even though he dodges this one Naruto's still running towards the Raikage and catches the Rasen Shuriken again and then hits him point blank with it Ooh. and then it of course it creates that giant explosion and it's a really really big panel it looks really awesome and it looks really destructive so there's a new character that's being established and we know his name but we're gonna refer to him as good Donzo because he has the eye patch and everything and he looks like Donzo. He looks just like him, <laughs> yeah. He just has, like, a different hat. Yeah, it's just, it's good Donzo from now on. So that's how we'll refer to that character. And uh, so back to the uh, fight with Naruto and the Raikage. Raikage's down because he got hit with Rasa and Shuriken, and of course, you know, that'll put you out for a while. And uh, some of the uh, other ninja try to seal him, you know, with the mummy technique. And they're about to start wrapping him, wrapping him up, and then he's just so powerful, he just breaks out and jumps up onto the ledge of the explosion from the Rasa and Shuriken. And uh, then all the ninjas start, like, bracing for impact because they know the Raikage is about to, like, charge at him. So the Raikage is baller as hell. He isn't going to take this shit sitting down. And uh, he, we could see he has a brand new technique in this chapter, and it's one where he forms lightning, like, around his hand and everything, and there's, like, a point at each finger. And when I first saw this, my first thought was, man, this is basically just Chidori. And later on, we find out Naruto actually remarks, oh, that pretty much is the same exact thing as uh, Kakashi's Raikiri or Sasuke's Chidori. But anywho, Raikage is getting ready to attack and basically just destroy everybody in his path. But uh, we get good Donzo who comes back <laughs> and he gets to use his uh, cool new technique known as Lava Rubber, which I guess is just really hot rubber. And uh, that sounds messed up. And he basically <laughs> creates this giant wall that like comes up and, uh, you know, you think it's going to work. You know, rubber against lightning, you know, maybe it'll be able to neg negate the abilities. Raikage is like, fuck that and busts right through <laughs> anyway. And he's just destroying everything in his path. It's at this time we see Naruto and good Donzo trying to figure out how the heck they're going to beat Raikage because Naruto already hit him with his best move, the Rasen Shuriken, as of right now. And good Donzo goes into this backstory about how uh, the third Raikage actually got the lightning scar on his chest from fighting the Eight Tails. And this reminds Naruto of something. Being reminded that the Raikage has only been hit by this Biju Ball technique, he realizes, hell, I've been training to use this technique. This seems like a perfect time to actually do it. So he has two QB arms come out from his back, and he starts forming the new Bijou Ball, and that's where the chapter comes to an end, leaving us on a cliffhanger to see if Naruto is going to be able to pull this technique off. Okay, so what did we think of Naruto chapter 554? Um, it was a consistent chapter all the way through. There was a lot of action from beginning to end. Uh, we got to see the main character involved the whole time, and uh, the third Raikage is turning out to be a real badass and a good way to challenge Naruto, so... I'm seeing a lot of good progression here with the main character. And, uh, you know, I I enjoyed reading it. I mean, yeah, this wasn't a, a floor-me kind of chapter, but uh, it did have a lot of things in it that I did enjoy. Um, again, it's always great to see. Naruto's just consistently been using new ways to use his techniques lately. Yes. And, uh, you know, that, that again goes with his whole being the most unpredictable ninja thing. Um, but again, I like the Ross and Shuriken stuff. But also the Raikage is just a badass. I love his, like, Super Saiyan 3 look. Yes. And, you know, he's just he, he's just crazy, you know. I mean, his lightning hands looked really, really cool. It's like Chidori, but it looks slightly different. And him just breaking through the wall and destroying everything. And, and of course, just the bit at the end. I, I can't wait to see if Naruto's actually going to pull off the Bijou Ball. Because 
he's going to have to tell a lot of people to just clear back. Cause that <laughs> thing's going to, like, obviously destroy the landscape. Yeah, and, like, so. like about the Bijou Ball, like, I'm not sick at all at watching Naruto use Rasengan. I thought I was going to be. I'm like, oh, man, he's just using Rasengan. But the arms are adding a lot of elements to it, and it's pretty much eliminated the need for Shadow Clones because he now can have as many arms as he needs forming Rasengan's at any point of his body. That's freaking awesome. I know, it's pretty ridiculous if you think about it. So he's become a whole different level of proficiency at the Rasen gun, so it's kind of a whole different fight now when he gets involved with someone. And uh, I'm just really enjoying all, all the Naruto progression, and I think we're going to get to see a whole bunch of really cool fights with him coming up. Even if this is just a clone of Naruto, that's badass, because that's what one clone can do. So imagine an army of those people. Now, as a chapter score this week, um, it was very, very good. It was entertaining, but like we said... It didn't really progress the story as much as we wanted to, but we still got some pretty cool action, and Naruto got to do some new things. So it was an entertaining read nonetheless, so we're just going to give it an 8 this week, and uh, I think that's still a really, really good score. It's way above average. Uh, it was still just a really great Naruto chapter this week, so that's going to be an 8 out of 10. Okay, you guys, so for a question this week, I want to ask you guys, what do you think is going to happen next chapter with Naruto? Well, honestly, we don't really know if it's going to go back to Naruto. All of a sudden, we can get a whole Sasuke chapter. That would be badass, too, though. But let's assume we're going to get Naruto next week. Is he going to be able to pull off the Bijou Ball? Or is someone going to end up saving him? Or is something worse going to happen? Booga, booga, booga. Yeah, sorry, guys. Sorry if I scared you. But anyway, just let us know with a comment below, and uh, we'll respond to the first few really good comments. So if you leave us a good comment, we'll write back. Hey guys, if you enjoy these videos, make sure to give us a big thumbs up on them, because it helps spread our videos around the YouTube anime community, and it's awesome if more people look at our stuff, because who doesn't love views? Okay guys, so until next time, Super Comic Guru 9000, out.